game will highlight the first principle of the Agile Manifesto, which is our highest priority is satisfying the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. So I'll leave the entire footage as it is, and that will ensure that you don't have to question if you missed anything or if you didn't understand anything. And as I said, I've run this with uh, multiple teams and it really goes down a tree. So without further ado, here is the coin game. On each side of this table, in this coin game, you've got competing companies or teams. So this side can be the really cool, fast, agile team. And David's side can be the nice, slow, steady, document it or waterfall team. So, if you could stack your coins. And what we're going to do, I'm going to be uh, the, you, the end user. And I'm, I, what I want is I want coins. Uh, I like stacks of coins, I like coins in, in themselves as well. So, that's the product you're giving to me, coin. When you give me coin, I'm really happy and I'm going to use your product more. When you don't give me any coin, I don't like it. Um, and I'm, like every user, I want stuff yesterday. So what we're going to do is, waterfall team, we're going to pretend um, you're like um, a requirements gatherer, business person and a designer. And then you can be a developer. And then you can imagine that you're like, um, testing it and then marketing it and giving it to the customer, yeah? So, in order to get your coins down this side of the table, you need to turn each one over and stack them. Once you've done all ten, you can then pass it, as you would do in a normal waterfall project, uh, to the next um, sequence. Yes. Okay. Agile, you've got a full stack of coins, but you've had a good look at them and you've broken them down into individual coins. You're an agile team, as soon as you've turned one coin over, you can pass it on to the next person. So you can, uh, you can be the requirements person, yeah, and that's what you do, and likewise, likewise. And again, you're like the equivalent uh, function within your company, you're checking the, the requirements and doing the design, you're doing the development, and then you're testing it and giving it to the customer, and that's me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time when I get the first coin and when I get the last coin. Uh, and for both teams. So, without further ado, got your fast fingers ready? Three, two, one, go. So what we can see from that quick game is that um, even though the last coin there wasn't massive difference between doing agile and doing waterfall, the first coin difference is immense. So what that means is if you can get some value to your customer with an early release early on, that is what you need to do. And you, the earlier you get the customer gets the value, the, the more time they have with that value, the more they can use it, the more they're going to adopt your product and continue with it. I mean, how does this feel? I mean, have you been on sort of projects where you've had that sort of heavy documentation? Yeah, I've, I've been in both types. Uh, my, my only problem with giving a part to the customer is he then comes back to you with that part and says, or oh, we don't like it this way, we want to change it, and mm. then it becomes a constant circle. Whereas with the waterfall, I find they're given the product in a whole, mm. and then they can see it as a whole. Uh, but that's my experience. Sure. I, uh, I quite often do a prototype, so that they just can see how the product would look, and then yeah. the data that they need, yeah. and from that, sort of build on that a bit. That's a very good idea. Um, 
So yeah, so j just to sort of frame this back to the Agile principle. The first Agile principle is uh, our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. Um, so, and the, the, they've got another one which is um, our, our primary measure of progress is working software. The, you've been lucky, I think, to be in project teams where um, they've had the waterfall and the customers always appreciated the entire product at the end. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you were to maybe compare some equal efforts, and let's say on the Agile project, they got that first piece of functionality and they were like, oh, we're not sure we like it this way, we want it another way. What happened if it was in the waterfall project and they didn't like that one piece of functionality in the waterfall project? Yeah, so they passed the whole entire project back to you to change that one part which you'll then pass back to them. Yeah, so that could be quite a big go back to the requirements. And then and it goes back down the waterfall stage. Yeah, so that could be an issue. Um, so, let's play that again with that in mind. Okay, so if we will put the coins going down this way. So you can be the, uh, the business researchers and user researchers. De designers, developers, testers out to the market. Right, because another uh, tenet of, uh, of Agile is we welcome uh, changing requirements even late in development. Uh, Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. So, we're going to play the coin game again, and this time I'm going to uh, call a change request halfway through. And um, so we'll switch sides. You can be Agile this time. <laughs> And uh, you can be waterfall. So you've got to pass all ten in the stack. When I call a change request, it's got to, it's got to come straight back to you as the designer researcher, and you're going to have to stack what the change request was. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, do you have to turn each one over? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When the change request comes to you, you can just carry on with the next ones, and if any at the end need changing, you can just take them back and then change those again. All right. So, on your marks, get set, go. <laughs> So uh, that, hopefully that agility, uh, you're breaking up your product really small, it just means that there's more, uh, more engagement with all the team all the time. So that's great. Uh, you've all graduated the coin game. I've <laughs> <laughs> so gone through two or three of the Agile principles already. So one other one just on that last uh, coin game is, uh, one of the principles is deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with a preference for the shorter time scale. So the, these guys who've found the success of Agile, they found is if you can make it, you know, they prefer a couple of weeks. If you can't get your first marketable products out that you're happy to tweet about and social media eyes in a couple of weeks, you might want it a bit longer. But you're, and that's where something called the MVP comes out, minimum viable product, or minimum marketable product. But ultimately, you're gonna still want it out in the first month or two. Otherwise, back to David's earlier point, if you get something out after like a year and it's not what the market really wants or there's a lot of issues with it and the offer changes, that's a whole year's worth of work potentially up in smoke. Um, so it's, even if it's bad news after the first month, it's better to hear the bad news earlier. Uh, fail fast is another sort of term you might hear. So let's wrap up this first episode. And next time we'll be back with an industry leader to talk about Splitting your backlog up into that minimum viable product or minimum
marketable product or maximum feasible product, or whatever you want to call it. If you like the video or you have any questions or comments, please do so below and I'll uh, try and create a dialogue going on this.